We are live. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's What's Thursday. Up? And y'all already know Thursdays belong to the e -Wables. It does, it does. You have hey. pulled up to the number one relationship podcast, yes. the number one dating podcast, the number one marriage podcast, the number one realest, rawest, most transparent couple that you'll ever meet, the number one couple that's comfortable with their vulnerability, the number one couple that got, got them did a whole lot of things wrong. Right. And we ain't too prideful to tell you that, but we did a lot of things right. Yes. We did a lot of things right. OK, yes. we have took it ourselves from a curse that was spoken over us Come on. to now hey. rejoicing in victory in our marriage. God has blessed not yes. only not only our marriage, but our marriage is now our ministry and our business. Come on. Look how Romans 828 did us. OK. Pain to purpose, y'all. Pain to purpose. Pain to purpose. Hey, listen. You are at the right place. I don't know, my right cousin. I see my cousin was in here. I don't know if she's still in here. They was waiting. Hey, cousin, if you in here, let me know. Hold on one second. Go ahead, keep talking, baby. Yeah, so I'm just super excited, y'all. It's so much to talk about tonight. So many things happening in these social media streets. So many things happening in relationships. I am honored to do this every week. I was just telling a group of, of ladies that podcasting is like, breath to my lungs. I love doing it. I love being able to, first of all, I love that we're in a era where literally the Bible talking about the word of our testimony, like that thing is really alive right now. So many people are, uh, are people overcome by the, the word of our testimony. Let me, I got to start finishing my thoughts, <laughs> but so many people start complaining like, oh my gosh, everybody why did I just get completely kicked out of my Instagram? Oh my! That's you know, that happened to that happened on what's my call it too. <laughs> hey, listen, if y'all don't know by oh. now, IG, <laughs> IG don't be playing about the algorithm what? and you taking people away from their platform. I'm what gonna tell you I, that now. But what did I say that made them just say, you know what, TK, no more? Listen, that's how they listen. You don't know. <laughs> you you can't say LinkedIn bio. You can't say uh, go to YouTube or Did anything like that. Did I just like say that. something triggering? No, I don't think so, baby. It's just they're going to kick you out. This is what they do. But why would they do that? Hey, listen, family, where are y'all? If y'all watching us live right now, where are you watching us from? Put the city in the chat That's right crazy. now in the city, in the state. Let me know. Where are you watching from right now? What's up, you good, baby? Yeah, I'm good. They, I made, just, her, they made, made one with me. No, first of all, because I was trying to post our reel earlier today, and I just got kicked out. Like, literally. just I'm talking about completely wiped out. Talking about, do you want to log in? Sir, I'm, I am logged in. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. We got the we got the Parkers in the house and Sweeney. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You know, we're not original. Uh, Georgians or anything, so mm -hmm. we've been told that the Cula was Dacula before. <laughs> that didn't even sound right. <laughs> it's actually the Cula. That didn't even sound right. But hey, the town. What up, Jay? Jay said the town. KC is in the house. Hey, what's good? The hometown, Chiefs Kingdom, mm -hmm. right <laughs> on. I don't know if my cousin's still here. Toya, hey, shout out to my cousin Toya. Toya, come back because my husband is really looking for you. I'm just happy. <laughs> I'm just happy to see my family <laughs> that was showing up. I don't know where she did it to, but anyway, go ahead. What you were saying, babe? I don't even remember. All right, well, listen, what was I talking about? Uh, I don't know because I was over here doing this, yeah. So, but hey, anyway, listen, if y'all don't know, first off, just to introduce ourselves, so, right? <laughs> so, we got to do that. So, my name is Takesha. And my name is Nambi. And, and you, you are Pillow, pillow talking, talking with the e Waboos. Episode 36. 36. What? Yes. Oh. Slowly climbing. So we're further than that. But yeah. we started Pillow Talking, the actual name of our podcast, yeah. a little bit later in the game. But we've been doing this. We we have, what, probably about 300 Ooh, episodes yeah, total, seen, I, total. Yeah, I was looking the other day. It was almost 300. I was yeah. like, wow, we've actually about, done that many videos. It's been about 300, about 300. videos with all of the, the mixture of things. So yeah. we've been doing this for uh, some time, but Pillow Talking is new. You want to tell yeah. them what we are and who we Yeah, so we here at Pillow Talking with the Uaboos, our mission is we help people receive God's best in relationships. So listen, if you're a single, you're looking to get married. Or you're a married couple, you're trying to stay married, okay? Yeah. It's on the rocks. You just got went out of a relationship, whatever the case may be. Listen, 
We are here for you. We are here to serve you, and we want to help you out. So you're a pillow talking with the Uables, the here. rawest couple there is out there. The rawest Straight couple. Up. I really wish that I had an us when we were newly Man, I wish somebody like, would have kept it. People uh, real, are so, really and, I, and I get it. I think there is absolutely. So, you know, sometimes we get jealous and we covet yeah. couples that can like really be super private and like yeah. you know you go to somebody's page you're like dang i didn't even know they were they were married like that's how <laughs> that's how private they are like yeah. i'm like that is so dope and we've battled with like oh my god should we should we should we should like we're literally called to do this yeah. and what baby you were talking about earlier this week like i i don't know where you were watching mm -hmm. i think it was somebody that like secretly got divorced and mm -hmm. he was like look at god and how we were yes. able to go through what we mm. went through early in stage yeah. before we got a mic before yep. we got these cameras yep. we went through what we went through so now we we you know, were able to really 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 do yeah this. really thrive like yeah. I, I was looking at that and i was like you know just had that revelation and i almost went to tears because i was like at that time you know when you got pregnant out of pregnant out of wedlock and how depressed i was and just felt like i let down my church i let down god like i, I just let down a lot of people who was following me at that time I was like, man, I felt like I was the lowest I've ever been. Mm -hmm. But I thought about how good and how gracious our God is, how merciful he is that he loved me enough that, you know, I had that fall at that time with just maybe a very small group of people which seemed big to me that may not, you know, rock with me or whatever from that point. Instead of me being on this big old pedestal with having a big podcast or whatever it may be. And I'm I'm famous or something, and then I have a major fall. Like I just thought about that, and as they were talking, I'm like, man, God, thank you so much. You know, just thank you so much. I don't have to turn off the comments because I'm I'm not that person who's good with what, looking at comments and stuff like that. Y'all pray I'm for a, Nandi. I get, hey, I'm, <laughs> hey, it is what it is. I get in my feelings a little bit. Hey, so I might be giving some ammo for somebody. But it is what it is. I just like I don't look at them too much, or I just be like, all right, I got to get them out of here. But I, I'm, I'm getting better actually. Now that we're doing this and knowing that being on the mic and talking so much, you're going to have people who just don't like you. If you yeah. if you want to have everybody like you, which I used to be an ex-people pleaser, I wanted everybody to like me, uh, then you might as well do nothing. Do nothing. The, the no, way for not everyone to, to like you is to not talk. Come on. Like, I noticed that the ones that have, like, a whole bunch of friends and, like, mm -hmm. everybody loves them, they typically just barely talk. Mm. But if you have an opinion, yep. somebody's gonna dis. I don't care if yeah. your opinion. There's been there's been That's reels. Yeah. There's been reels that I've made, and I'm just like, love each other, and wives. I just want you. Um, uh, first of all, you. And it's like, <laughs> what, how did you? What what made yeah. you? Ain't like someone is going to disagree. Sure. But the point that I was making is, a lot of times, it is first and foremost, it's easy to talk about something that is so far away from you. Come on, right? So had we had the the podcast when we were in the midst of our church hurt in the midst Ooh. of like literally going through it baby oh, man, the way that i would have been blasting off on this mic <laughs> the way <laughs> i would have been I, yeah. I already was leaking and it was yeah. time later but the way i would have been leaking if we had did it in the midst that is god's grace but yeah. the point back to what i was That's making great. is the vulnerability yeah um, the reason why I think that every couple should tap in with us, no matter if you are further than us in marriage or you are, um, you know, new in your marriage, whatever the case may be, single. you're yeah. single, whatever. Mm -hmm. You're just not going to meet another as raw, as transparent on both ends. Come on. Um, the way that I talk about the beginning of our marriage and what I my, my mouth emasculating him, the way that he talked about, you know, the disappointment in leadership and so many yeah. different things that we went through. People just don't talk about nah, it. People, people do not speak on it because. Um, someone is going to be kind of feeling some type of way and we both mm. don't like yeah. we we quickly overcome and be like all right so now that we overcame mm -hmm. it's time to tell the people and and help them out and yeah. so y'all y'all tuned into yeah. a, a and, great place and i hope that's encouragement for someone to just live out your unique design yeah who god truly called you to be he called you to be that way for a reason he did. like um w one of the things when i did my one of my personality tests it said that you are very open with how you're how you feeling or, or your your wins and also your your losses for sure like it, it can go both ways for you 
And so like I, I, I've also felt certain type of ways when I was winning and I, I would tell somebody at one of my old jobs, I'll be like, hey, man, yeah, over where I'm at, boom, boom, boom. They making we making boom, boom, boom. And then I would tell you, I'll be like, man, I feel kind of bad. Oh, I, I just talk about income like it's regular when people don't really say what they actually make. That's that's that boo. You don't you don't talk about what you actually make. Uh, but it's just this is who I am. Mm -hmm. And I've been that's what I think I've been embracing in this season is really embracing truly who I am and my uniqueness that I'm not like every man. I don't sit down. I don't know all LeBron stats. Um, you know, I don't get, get with a group of guys at the workout machine with hats on looking at people, at women and stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm, I'm a little bit different. I don't play basketball no more. <laughs> I did when I was younger. You know, I'm just not, I'm, I'm me. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit different. I'd rather listen to nineties R and B than any crazy hip hop or anything like that. I'm, yeah. I'm different. Yeah. yeah this, me. And it sounds so light y'all speaking on it but we just kind of like freshly begin well, you feel short no i feel short definitely but <laughs> I, do too. I feel like i'm, I'm, I'm like too. I'm, I'm yeah so five foot two on this, this camera going to disney plus out of nowhere you see the enemy has been oh, at work no i haven't i didn't do nothing yeah i just picked it up when oh, okay you said something. yeah um i was gonna say in the beginning um like here recently we both discovered that we were operating outside of our design yeah so you were operating as an introvert over time it happened because i know yeah. this was gonna be our aha moment but we're not doing it no well, more so yeah. we can talk about it now yeah we're we gonna do we it can, eventually we, but yeah. oh okay we can we can discuss it a little bit but yeah. i have been operating our youtube channel is the e Wables. if you come if you get off of my instagram y'all i'm so live she's on instagram. talking to people on instagram right now getting them over here Pillow talking live because we about to answer some questions. But go ahead. Um, go to my bio and it says the e Wables, and then you can find us on our YouTube page. So pull up over there because we're about to answer those questions that y'all asked in my inbox. But we were both um operating in you were you are an extrovert. Yeah. I am an introvert. You were operating as an introvert. I was operating as as an extrovert, yeah. and we were exhausted. For sure. I mean, completely out of alignment because of high key, just a standard that we thought we had put on one another. Like, yeah. you know, I I'm I'm an introvert. So even your little your little uh, moments of extrovertedness, I'm yeah. like, gosh, Lee, every time we want to go somewhere, Namdi wants to talk to every corner crack. <laughs> now be talk so much he'll be talking to the furniture at a restaurant <laughs> <laughs> just like sir i'm yeah. ready to go and then vice versa though over time yep. you became an introvert so then i felt forced to be an extrovert yep and i yeah. was exhausted i'm like babe i don't want to go nowhere it's too much in it it's too much energy and yeah. so after a while we're like wait a minute we are literally opposites yeah we literally complement one another on. yep how about we just be who we are <laughs> like how about we not fight it and that's something y'all yeah. transparently i am still working on i have pretended to be an extrovert for so long i legit do not know how to be an introvert no mm. more although i am i don't know how to rest in it yeah i don't know how to rest in i feel like people will look at me weird like girl all this talking you do on this daggone podcast I felt I feel the expectation when people meet me or see me that I'm supposed to be like, yeah, so what's the yeah, that's, that's what they think as soon as they like your wife's an introvert. And I'm like, yeah, she's an introvert. And to be honest with you, what I've noticed is characteristics of those who are very great speakers who when their words, their words are heavy, yeah. like yourself or a lot of different pastors. What I've learned is all of y'all are that. Like all of y'all are, are are introverted people. Yeah. I'm like, okay. So a lot of a lot of many great leaders that just seem like they're all introverts for it, the most it part. It seems every I mean everyone. I'm not saying I'm I, not one, but I'm just saying that for a good the, the majority are for the type of leader that we all know or mm -hmm. what you know me and you know that pour so much all the time. Yeah. It 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 only makes sense that we are introvert because we pour all day. Yeah, like that's that's literally what we do. I'm about to tell these people to pull up on yeah, YouTube. Go ahead, okay? go ahead. So everybody. I need y'all to go ahead and pull hey. up on YouTube. Thank y'all for being here. Um, the podcast is in my bio. Y'all can just hit the e Wables and join the conversation over on that platform. Okay. Cause they hate knowing us. <laughs> hey, listen, we got, listen, first off, shout out, shout out to Kanae starting us off with the super chat tonight. Listen, 
she's the sponsor of this of this whole live right now man Thank listen you, whoever man. whoever gives the most as far as a super chat man we're gonna call them the sponsor she's the sponsor of this hey that's one of the ladies of light that's in the house ladies of light ladies y'all, of light y'all in, in the, the chat? let us know that y'all are here right now <laughs> Listen, we got it. Yeah, I don't know if you want to segue into telling them about the ladies of light sure. right now, real, real quick. Yes. And then we're gonna jump into some things here. So, my name is Takesha E. Wabu, and I empower women to nurture their godly femininity. Y'all, I was excited to say that because I just kind of formatted it today. But seriously, um, I have been working with a group of women who are just excited about getting back to the original design of what God created them to be when it comes to femininity, wives, single women, mothers that feel like they've just stepped away from just what is godly femininity. And that's not just a look or an aesthetic. That is the ability to nurture, to pour and have boundaries so you can pour back into yourself by being in the presence of God. That is accountability, friendships, community. That is compassion, kindness, practicing these things. So every week we've been, we've been meeting on Mondays. I think this is the last week. Um, I think so. Kone, is this our last week meeting? Let, I think let, I'm pretty sure it is. Them. Cause this is day 53, I think. We're going to continue it somehow. Oh, hold oh, on. We're- Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you say? Go ahead. I'm going to say something after that. We're definitely going to continue it, but we have a book club and um, yeah, it's all just all godly femininity, womanhood type of stuff. So um, when I start up the new thing, which will still be ladies of light, y'all will know, but I can't, I, there's no point of me even inviting people because it's, it's literally one, one week left. So for every lady, something. They yeah, I mean, everybody, can... you just, ju- just, ju- listen, when, when they go in, you're going to get some fruit. No, you're definitely like, you fruit. need something. It's like, I believe that like, if you just pray to the Lord, like, Lord, I need something. Somebody going to pull up and they're going to get something out of your And not mouth. only that, we have a group chat with over 200 women in it that are yeah. always willing and open and available to give resources, yes. um, suggestions of books, uh, therapists, all of the things. And so, yeah. yes, I can add you to the group chat because we will stay connected and we're going to start something literally within weeks. Yes. So you, yeah, tap in, just DM me and um, say, add Yo, me. Tap in. Listen, shout out to, is that Mariah? Her niece. Super chat? Yes, with the Hi, super chat. Like... She said, I'll Are match you, sure? you I love it. Huh? I can, I'm pretty, it I says see. Raya. I, I see it with the picture. I, I might need glasses too, though. Well, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Kind of <laughs> so, hey, shout out to her, man. Hey, listen, if y'all want to be a support to us, we want to take this to the next level. We got a lot of different things that we would love to do. Resources definitely help. I feel like the church now, but it is, I understand. That's why I give to my church. I know that it just don't run off of, you know, prayers. It runs off yeah. of actual but- I don't even feel the need to disclaim that because I think we're in a time in an era where um, I was watching this podcast earlier and um, with okay. (laughs) See, she's trying to be discreet now. (laughs) She didn't watch some of her favorite leaders and they got, they so articulate without (laughs) giving any type of detail and we we want to be that i want to i think in some cases it's needed everybody more. don't need to know who your mentors and coaches and yeah. all the programs you're in i don't think everybody need to know That's that right. um but i was watching this podcast and um somebody kind of came at them sideways and they basically responded like i don't have to explain that to nobody like mm. the people that are called to us they're gonna understand that you feel what I'm saying? So even those that are called to us, we're not going to have y'all. Y'all that's been rocking with us for so long. First of all, we just got super chat. OK, <laughs> praise God. We just got Come ads on. and all of that. Like we've been working our butt off. Y'all see the authenticity. I don't think I don't think an authentic person has to yeah. has to prove that they are are authentic. The Bible says that you can you can judge a tree by its fruit Come y'all on. just inspect the fruit and yeah. if y'all are pleased by the apples bananas and pears yeah. you know that means that you know you're you will be more open to tag along with us and partner with us rather that is by buying merch buying our cups buying yeah. ebooks buying courses buying whatever yes. becoming a patreon whatever the case may be you do that we leave that up to you but we don't have to disclaim come that. on come on that's good that's good hey. listen I, I say i say no we're on that, babe. Okay. Uh, so you want to jump into the first or you want to go into anything mm-hmm. else before we 
before we do that? Are you gonna ask me how my week is? Yeah, that's all I was gonna say. You want to do that. So mm -hmm. how how has been your how's your been your week been so far? How has my week been so far? <laughs> yeah. Uh what's let's see, what happened this week? Um, church was phenomenal. I feel like it's been a I felt like two days ago, I was like, um, I'm just going to sit down for a second. Mm. I'm going to do a little less work. You know, I'll be working my butt off from yeah. homeschooling the kids to cleaning you're this house to woman. cooking to I'm not super. You know, I mean, you, I'm saying like, no, you're not super. Woman, I but I'm just like, <laughs> well, the way you saying. do it. I'm yeah. like, I don't know how you do it. This I don't is, either. This is it. Literally the grace of God. Like I told you when, you know, we were talking on your break um, mm -hmm. at work or whatever. And I was like, baby, I got to pray like after every activity yeah i can't just pray once a day like for how much is on my schedule i cannot just meet god in the morning mm -hmm. he got to be with me every hour every Come moment on. every second because <sighs> my my the, the task the assignment the call all the things is just way too heavy to really have have it on my own strength sometimes i'm like i don't even know how my body is mm -hmm. bearing this like mm -hmm. just because i'm always going like i'm this my mind gross. my thoughts my creative creativity then i gotta separate space for my kids yeah. and then you know you yeah. and friends and mm -hmm. all the things uh but it's been a it's been a week um i, I feel like i'm still in a process of just kind of like keeping my eyes open for god um not getting attached to anything because mm. i have been um things have just switched quickly and I I was so attached that I couldn't embrace the new. I couldn't mm -hmm. embrace what God was doing in that present moment. So I'm trying to, it's so crazy because adaptability and like cooperativeness is mm -hmm. a trait that men love. Like it's a trait that alpha man, whatever, you know, <laughs> a husband wants from his wife. Yeah. And it's so crazy that I feel like I'm like that with you, but I'm literally not like that anywhere else. Like if you mm -hmm. say, babe, I'm done with this and I'm going on, I'm like, okay, let's ride. You know, yeah. already, hey, getting out the house, we're going to move to at mm -hmm. Buckhead. All right, let's do yeah. it. Whatever. I'm always, I feel like I'm uh, adaptable in that. But when it came to other things in my life, systems, friendships, places, things, I was, I was still attached to it. So mm -hmm. I've been learning to be adaptable. Like when God says, let go, when he says, move on, when he says, this is it. That's it. So that's kind of the the lane I've been in. Oh, I went to um change group oh, for the yes. first time. Hey man, shout out to my wife for yeah. doing this. If y'all don't know, she just got through talking about being an introvert. So for getting in a group, and if you don't know, change group is just a small group that they have at our church uh, that gathers on a weekly basis. And that was that was very, very big. I'm so proud of you because I know that that's a major leap for you to to do something like that and yeah. that's getting you out of your introverted box to you know actually get with other people get community um you know as we're always taught that we can't be our best self by ourselves and you're mm -hmm. seeking that that community so how was that it was excellent um i am so although i'm an introvert i'm like incredibly comfortable with intimate conversations so like mm -hmm. one-on-ones so i i kind of made the group I'm not, I'm, I, I made the environment still fit to where I was comfortable. Mm -hmm. So a lot of like one-on-one -on -one off conversations. Mm -hmm. So it still felt intimate in a way. And I feel like the whole thing was just, it felt intimate. First of all, I just felt good to get out the house. Yes. Um, it felt good to be <laughs> <You deserved> it. <laughs> around some women. Um, but I, you know, I, I feel like I'm also like, in, I am like crucially <laughs> critical and, um, meticulous mm -hmm. about the community that I'm building in this season mm. because I know the type of weight that I am mm. and I know what the Bible says about a friend. Yeah. So before I didn't, I didn't know what the Bible said. I didn't know what was expected. Mm -hmm. It was just like, oh, we have common interests. Yeah. But the Bible talks about a friend being built for 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 yeah. your war for what you go through for yeah. what you and for so long i've been the poor in my friendships i've been yeah. the one that have you know always been the strongest one yeah. i'm like wait this is not even biblical yeah. like no my friends are supposed to be built for what i have going on yeah. and filling those gaps when i am weak so i am how i'm viewing everything and and how i'm going into new relationships is is um I feel like I've reached a higher level of thinking. Mm -hmm. So I've just been more meticulous about yeah, it. Yeah, so, yeah. Listen, 
I'm so proud of you in, in doing that. So Thank you, yeah, babe. yeah, definitely. What about you? How's your week been going? The week? Y'all want me to y'all want me to keep it a thousand? <laughs> I guess I gotta keep it real. Uh the week has been challenging. Mm. It's been very, very challenging, man. So um just some certain things like even you know, going live. Listen, as you don't know, I'm fasting from fear. That's a part of it. We're in Lent, uh, Lent season mm-hmm. and, you know, we call it seek season here at our church. And we're, you know, we're fasting. I, I've got a diet portion of it, but I decided to fast from something that, man, I'm heavy on. Like I'm talking about, I, I eat on it all the time. I've been a friend of it for way too long. And that's fear. I say, you know what? It got to go out the door. And so I'm not used to talking without her. It's not something that I'm very comfortable with. Actually, I, a lot of times I've tried to sabotage this whole thing and, so I could just put her in front of the camera and I just do what I do in the background. But um, I, as it, you know, God just continues to call me out. Like just he, he shows me by people inboxing me and, and things of that sort. And some of the people that I'm leading saying, man, we need you. So anyway, it was like, man, I got to get this thing up off of me because my full potential cannot be maxed out with this fear. Just holding me down. Like I've been lifting this fear weight and faith is just over here like this. You know, and so I said, I'm going into it. So doing it every single day. Can be challenging after you work, and then you got so many other things on the schedule. But it's like, nah, man. I, I had too many people, too many men who've come up to me, and they've been blessed, and now they're ready to go do something else. So I've inspired them in a way to go do something. I'm like, man, I got to show up. If anything, I got to show up for that one person who is going to inspire to break the chains of fear. And so yeah. it, it was a challenge, but I pressed through. And when I showed, when I showed up, then Holy Spirit showed up and just spoke through me. Yeah. I didn't I didn't have to do all of the different working of it. So uh, I'm, I'm truly grateful that God has just been carrying me through the whole process and just showing me like if you would just mm. trust in me. Yeah. If you would just trust in me. Yeah. Just have faith. The size of a mustard seed. You would just trust. And a lot of times I wouldn't. And, and he just shows up each and every time. And so I've been pressing through on that. And then there's been another thing that's been really um, challenging. I won't say what it is. But it's something that may have to go. One of our mentors had told us, like, you know, if you um, if it costs you your peace, it's way too expensive. And it's costing me my peace. And so I said, OK, now I have to make a strategy on how do I get around this situation? How yeah. do I I go a different route with it? So yeah. it's been challenging. But, man, listen, God's grace is sufficient way more than sufficient. And he will continue to carry me through. And I'm trusting and I'm believing that. And I'm believing that we got some pillow talkers right here that's going to pray for me. Will y'all pray with me? Will y'all pray for me, please. Keep me in y'all prayers. Something's costing me my peace. I got to get rid of it. Yeah, for Point sure. Blank, period. So, yeah. Yeah, babe. So before we about to go into this, anything else there? No, I was just going to encourage you yeah. in this. First of all, you know, I keep saying this over and over and over. I'm so proud of you for pushing past your fears. <clears throat> I told Namdi this the other day off camera. I'm like, Namdi is the most consistent human I know, period. <laughs> doing, wow. doing, well, I won't go into detail about that, but just obviously mm. I get to see all the background stuff. And I'm like, um, I only know that when God, when God allows you to really step into what it is, you're going to mm-hmm. be you're going to be incredible because you've done so many things just out of sacrificial love yeah. every single day. Of course, you're going to do what you love with. Um, of course, you're going to do what you love consistently. Yes. And I also think even when it comes to speaking, like it goes back to embracing who we are, because I'm a speaker where I easily and effortlessly write sermons. I can write out points. I, it drops in my spirit like. I mean, almost like God just breathes on me, mm-hmm. but that's, and, and and I've tried to freestyle and like get on live. And sometimes I do just talk, but like, I'm, I'm like, no, I got to give something. It got to mm-hmm. be a point. You got to be this. I got to do that. You might be the opposite, but it's embracing that. Yeah. Like it's embracing the type of speaker, the type of leader, the type of all of that, because mm-hmm. somebody needs you. Everybody don't want to hear me talk mm-hmm. about all. And John said in seven chapter two, this, this, and that, yeah. somebody wants someone that's just going to chop it up and keep it real with them. So yeah. I think as you continue to grow, not only are you like literally putting fear in a chokehold, you are mm-hmm. also learning yourself. That's yeah. the beauty of being consistent, yeah. even when it ain't pretty. Ooh. Like you can, you, you learn, you get to know yourself. Like, yeah. I've been doing this for so many years. I, I I know what type of speaker I am. Yeah. I know what type of events I'm not going to take 
that ain't me. I don't do that. I, this good. this is what I do, you know? And so it's kind of what this pastor said a long time ago. Oh, I'm a quote is so bad. But like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Which one? Oh, like uh, when you like figure out what you want to do, it kind of determines all yeah. of your future yes yeah. and no's. Oh, yeah. So when you know who <laughs> yeah. you are, I already know I ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing yeah. this. I've been, I, what to say? I've been shooting in the gym for 10 years. I know what type of type of whatever I'm yeah. not supposed to be a part of. And mm -hmm. I am. And I think that's the dope thing that you're in the journey of just developing what type of speaker, what type of leader, what type of type of podcast, yeah. all of that. We're in the beginning. And that's the beauty of this journey. Yeah. yeah. Do y'all see the beauty of having a supportive partner? Like, do y'all see the beauty of that? Like just what she said to me that day, almost sent me to tears. She said, you, you, you doing you dealing with this situation that you cannot stand and you doing it consistent. I already know when it's something that you that you love and you have a passion about consistency. That's that's not an issue. It's like it's, you, you just you're going to run right through on that, man. Yeah. So you so grateful for you. Thank you, babe. I could go on and on about that. So I'm going to go to these uh, comments and then we're going to jump into some of the subject. Oh, hold up. We got a new sponsor of the of the whole show here. I think it's Crit. Chris Lynn, Chris Lynn, thank you so much. The Come $20 on, sip, super when did it chat get a noise for y'all. Yes, we got. I'm gonna I'm come up with something else on there, but listen, we definitely appreciate it. Let me check out. Thank something you else so here. much. Um, definitely appreciate you. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Mariah said, Please stop saying stinker butt. <laughs> she said, Please stop. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's, you will always be my stinker butt. She said, please stop staying <laughs> okay. stinker butt. Mariah then, can turn 30. She's going to be a stinker butt. <laughs> see, I tell my daughter all the time, like, listen, you always going to be my baby. I, call, I, don't I, care. I, I uh, call Nayon and stink about too. <laughs> all the time, man. Yeah, Chris, and thank you. And thank then you. also, uh, Victoria, your consistency. Uh, Victoria, yeah, your consistency is inspiring, brother. Thank you so much. Mm, I definitely do thank you. appreciate that. That though, that's the that's what keeps me going. Yeah. Period. Is as long as I know I'm serving somebody, as long as I know I'm helping somebody, I'm good. That, that keeps me going all the way. So we're about hey, to get into this first. Let's topic, get into this. I think y'all gonna topic. like this one. Um, <laughs> real quickly here, let me pull up this stuff here. And oh uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, sure. here, we, here we go. Oh lord. This is an Iwebu production. Period. So what I believe is probably the number one watched and talked about episode or show right now on Netflix is Netflix is Love is Blind. Um, I began to get a little addicted myself. I was trying not to, but I got in there and I was like, dang, I like it. I really, really do. Um, it gives me that that itch of reality TV because I don't watch it anymore. That isn't so ratchet and ghetto and bottom of the barrel um and so this season there were there was an, a particular couple that everyone was speaking on and that is ad and clay Man. this storyline has so many breakdowns so many things to discuss that we believe we have talked about on so many different occasions on this podcast and so this is a clip that we're going to be talking about that we're going to share with y'all that it really kind of like sat with us and yeah. we can't stop thinking about it we weren't even we were yeah, going to try yes. to get past it yeah but it was like no nah, we got to talk about yeah. this let's one let's check this out real quickly y'all sorry they both stand up he kisses her eyes and hugs her she embraces him and strokes his hair come on you too they press their foreheads together Clay gives her a kiss and they embrace. What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? You think I'm leaving? What are you supposed to do? I guess you gotta run away from me. So, oh my god, so you just inside is breaking my heart. That was just so fucking hot. I'm gonna lie. Baby, I'm telling you, like, I'm gonna put the work in. I'm gonna go therapy, all that stuff, all that stuff I said, you know? As the guests file out, Margarita to Trevor. I really do. <laughs> you did. I did my fucking best. You did. Do you think it wasn't good enough? No. So everything I'm saying is not resonating to you, huh? It's hard. It's hard to me. You know, like what you say and what I feel. Mm-hmm. 
I just feel like I learned so much about myself and it kind of got scared, you know? I just, I think my thing is, like, I should have said it. That, like, I, I feel kind of like a sacrifice. Like, you learned so much about yourself. Yeah, yeah, that, like, I get that. You just need to, like, do it. <sighs> My oh my. My oh my. Yeah. That part um was difficult to watch because <laughs> you know, um this man is going on and on about like wow, I've learned so much by being with you and you've encouraged me and you did this and you're saying these things after leaving her mm -hmm. at the altar. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that is what a lot of women deal with, period, is feeling like, first of all, just going into a relationship because we are most time, first of all, we're built to nurture. Um, but especially if you actually have cultivated that the ability to nurture, you give so much a lot of times, unfortunately, to the wrong man. And, and you kind of set up that man to be better for the next one. And it, I, I, I am sure that can feel like a sacrifice. Now, most people don't know my story, but I mean, I got to start assuming that um, mm. I had very little dating experience before Namdi. We got together when I was 21 and I just don't have the experience of like a deep dive in, into another relationship mm -hmm. and feeling like I really gave a man my all. Yeah. But seeing this type of stuff. I'm like, had I dated longer or something like that, that mm -hmm. of course that it could have been me where you are just hoping for the best, especially because Clay, if y'all don't know the storyline the whole time, yes, he was a, just a boat of red flags. <laughs> um, but he also was very much like, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Um, and I have an unpopular opinion now before I get to that. So, he had promised her so many things. And so a lot of times a woman will behave as a wife before mm. she is even that in hopes that she'll be a wife. Message. So she'll literally become the wife, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, you need to be the wife before you be the wife. But that doesn't mean giving it up. That does not mean honestly get putting all your eggs in one basket unless y'all are exclusively dating, of course. But I think a lot of women deal with that just, sometimes that can be this like delusional hope. Mm. And the reason why I believe it's a delusional hope is because he just presented so many red flags. He talked about cheating consistently all the way through consistently mm. all the way through the show. And she was just like, I, the way that she looked mm. at her, I mean, the way that when he was talking about cheating, the way that she was looking at him, she was like, oh, I, in my spirit, I said, this is what she's saying in her head. You are you are just so fine, and I'm gonna fix you up. <laughs> I'm a I'm a fix that you sounds, up. I'm a, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put this booty on you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cook for you. I'm gonna throw this thing back. Come I'm gonna pray over you. You got the pieces. I watch. Yeah. I'm. A, that's how she was looking at him. Like yeah. you know what? It's okay. You got the pieces. You got the things all together. I'm. I'm gonna put you together. Mm -hmm. And then this is the last out. thing I'm gonna say <laughs> before um you go, babe. Yeah. And I have a very unpopular opinion. What's that? Very, very unpopular against the world. Everybody is mad at Clay. Everybody mm. is upset at Clay. I am so sorry, y'all. But AD is equally as responsible Come for on. her heartbreak. Come on. I, I'm sorry. Like, we, we, she's beautiful. She has a great personality. So it's so easy to love her. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like y'all in the beginning of the episode, she literally says, I see red flags and paint my nails with them. So she's literally saying, y'all, I ignore red flags. I ignore them. And I and I know that about myself. Yeah. So I remember I told of uh, one of my friends and we were like going through something. I said, sis, don't uh, don't even don't allow me to break your heart. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you have your standards for yeah. yourself. Don't pray that I can be a different friend. Yeah. You see me as I am and you move accordingly. And so I feel like she she knew that she was a person that probably I mean, clearly has a toxic trait of ignoring red flags. And now we want to be mad that he left you at the altar. And the yeah. thing is. That is the point of building your list of non-negotiables mm -hmm. so you can create those boundaries Come that on. keep you safe. Yes. Literally, yes. it keeps you safe. Like, okay, I don't want to deal with a liar. 
I don't want to deal with a cheater. I don't want to deal with a man with mama issues. I don't want to deal with it. Whatever it is, you create that before you get in these relationships. So you can say, okay, while I'm sober in my mind, I don't got no pain in me. I'm good. I'm clear. I need to create a, 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 a border, a boundary that will keep me safe before I fall in love. So no matter how I, how much I love you, dang, my list said I can't get with a liar. I know what that feels like. My ex oh. was that. And he brought me through a ringer. I, he cheated on me like crazy and gave me a this, da, 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 da. You'll be able to look at that list a little clearer. And the last point I'm going to make is, had intimacy not been in it, the heartbreak would have been a little less too. When you are intimate and and I don't, I, it is, I don't, <laughs> it is not liberating to give your body to a man that is not your husband. All that does is blind you and fog you from the things that God and people and everybody else can clearly see. Yeah. So I I I I hate that for her because yeah. she's so beautiful, she's so gorgeous. But while Clay going to therapy, AD need to go too. Come on, come on, yeah. I I uh, <laughs> crazy thing, I was not about to be into this show, y'all, at all. But I kept seeing, like, hearing a little bit of it, and and I decided to peep over. I'm looking, I'm looking around the corner, like, what they? So they supposed to be getting together? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, y'all, I'm, I'm sitting up here like, man, put put it on the screen. Let's right. Let's, let's look at this together, <laughs> or whatever. And it was something about this couple. Obviously, great looking couple together, yeah. and everything. And you know, when he was bringing up that he was worried about cheating, I'm like, yeah. Why is she going around that? Why is she going around that? And but I'm like, this is what's wild is women are doing this every single day. Every day. The culture is telling y'all to do this every single day. The culture is telling you to go get the body and all, and then it will fix everything. Yeah. And we have seen that that is lies on top of lies. Some of your biggest, greatest entertainers, they cannot keep a man. He's cheating. They getting ran through. He just being violent about some of them. If you, if you know what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about with their situation, like, if that hasn't told you anything, it's not going to be your looks and your body that's going to change this man at all. Yeah. That's not what's going to happen. And I think that's where she comes into a problem. You know, I, I see, I see clay and I can't think, but to have grace upon him because I can see the old me, some pieces that was there and a yeah. lot of men just when she said the part about being a sacrifice, mm. I just had to think about first off how not to like condemn this brother, judge this brother too hard because I think about all the women that were low key a sacrifice for me. Yeah. A sacrifice of while a lot of times women are being a sacrifice to a man while he's trying to oh to a boy while he's trying to become a man. Mm. Message. Like that's what's really happening. And so I had to think, and I'm just like, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Like stuff like this, I I, I don't look at stuff like sometimes I seen something like that. I see me I, when I looked at him, I seen me. And I was like, oh my gosh, just obviously I've apologized to certain people, especially the ones that I got kids by. I've, I've apologized for those uh, things that I did and how I was in the past, as far as it goes, whether they accepted it or not. But at the end of the day, like I thought about all those different women. Who had to go through all the games that I played, and yeah. that they their body was just a sacro. They thought they was gonna do whatever, and I was gonna be wooed. And by the next week, I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm back with my ex. They're like, what? Like, what's yeah. going on here? Like, they they feel like a sacrifice, and so many women, you're being treated like a piece of meat when you're more valuable than that. You're just not that. And a lot of times, you know, I I don't know, I will speak so much to our our ladies. Uh, and I told you, I think I said this last week because they're so misguided mm. because women are meant to be led. And it, I'm telling you, once a man plug that thing in the socket, if they let the wrong Negro do that, okay, or the Caucasian or whatever he is, okay, if they let the wrong one do that, their program, they go into a, what do you say? Okay, I'm doing that. What else do you want? 
You want me to throw it back? You want me to leave my friend alone? You don't want me to talk to her no more? Okay. Yes, I'm not talking to her no more. You don't want me to go to church no more. Now I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Yes, I will do that. Oh, now I'm a nation of, okay. That's literally what kind of happens in a way. I am making that a real. Pain can just turn the whole thing out. Mine just gone. I've seen women leave Christ no, for because real. that Negro. That's true. That's true. Just because he, and he, she didn't even probably get one off. Yeah. Girl, it's just, it, don't you, even be having pick, orgasms. You picked him over Jesus. Yeah. And yeah. That's but that, but yeah. he didn't create like what we're, like what we're doing. It was meant for, it was so, it's so powerful that it's meant for Ouch. a marriage to be with one person yes. only that yes. it, it will take, it will take the most broken marriage in men that bad boy. Oh my goodness. We could be on the outs. Mm -hmm. Get you, forget you too. Forget mm -hmm. it. Whatever. 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 I don't even like whatever. Blah blah blah. Get that mug rocky. I'm just I'm not just talking about us, but anybody. If you grown, it's that powerful. That's why you be like, why are y'all y'all back together again? I thought he damn that's fast. Be, well, what happened was she got lonely at night. He she called him over and then he did that again. But he still ain't really committing. Yeah. And I and so I, I speak so much because I hate to see like it's like <laughs> it's like I was in the bad boys club and now I'm out and I'm trying to save as many women from dealing with the bad boys. Yeah. Go get the good one. I know it's not popular. Yeah, your toxicity wants to be talked to wrong. You want to be you want to be in physical altercations because you believe that that kind of that's kind of love or whatever in some weird twisted way because your mom might have went through it or whatever and your dad did whatever. Like I'm telling you Get clear, man. Stop. I seen that and I felt for that young lady. Yeah. Because I'm like, she was a sacrifice like me? That's sad. Like on a stove? And I felt and I was like, Lord, have mercy on me because I've sacrificed some women like that as well. Yeah. And I just, I, I'm glad for Clay that he is going right. to get the help yeah. that he's supposed to go get. But here's the thing. We seen a clip of him the other day. Looks like they were hanging out or whatever. Not the other day. It was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving because mm -hmm. this was recorded over a year ago. Yeah. And it's like, he So he left, left you at the altar and you're at his family house. So after she left, after he left her at the altar, at on, she was at the, his family house on Thanksgiving. Um, And that's the, that's the, I believe that two people create dogs. And that is mm. most of the time, single women that are mothers, right? The, that daddy wasn't around mm -hmm. and women that let men play them. Yeah. Like we let them get away with dog activity mm. and no, and they, they, it wasn't until you met me that you found a woman with standards. Yeah. Literally. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do what? Yes. You gotta open up my door. Yes. You gotta take me on a date. Yes. What? You gotta pay for my hair. Yes. You gotta tell me you love me. Yes. You gotta give me a si massage. Yes. I need to have orgasms too. Yes. I need to do it. Oh, like, I ain't never had to like, do all this work. We're all, we're no. One we're of my, one of my, si things. one of my sisters in love. Yep. She told, she told you what, what did she tell you? She said, Namdi ain't never had to work like this in no relationship. <laughs> to do she told me straight up. She was like, Namdi ain't never had to do this. I said, well, welcome. To what every woman should be standing on. And guess what? He gonna marry the one who give him a standard because he's attracted to that. Yes. He's like, hold up, you different. So I can't just I can't just call you to come over and watch Netflix and then we get it in. Yeah. So you're gonna make me take you out. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make me like and do wait. some work. You're yeah. gonna actually inspect the fruit the of church. who I am and all that sure before will. you do all that. Something about a man say, Oh, it dry, it's attractive to them. Yeah. But when you just when you just You're another could, one. You're literally a number. She let me do it. Yep, her too. And this is what on I the belt. You get talked about in the barbershop, and I'm telling you, I've been there, and I still hear it. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, you getting talked about in the bar. I used to go in the barbershop, and I used to hear these dudes talk about chicks that we know. Like, oh, what you call it? Yeah, smashed her the other day. Man, her and a friend. Woo, 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 woo. Do, 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 do. Oh man, shoot, I smashed in here. Homeboy smashed her. And I'm talking. I'm telling you what I know. Women do not be another notch on the belt in a barbershop talk. Don't do it. Don't be the sacrifice. Set a standard. Set boundary. We're going to keep saying this stuff till we're blue in the face because you guys are too addicted to blue face and Krishans and all the other different hip hop stars and things of that sort that's in your stereo system telling you how to live in your subconscious mind which you're operating off of 90 to 95% of the time is soaking all that in saying 
Ooh, I need to get a man like this. Ooh, he got to put it down like this. Ooh, it got to be like this. You, that's why I say, hey, watch the ear gate, watch the eye gate, because it's telling you, it's programming you, and you don't even know it before you're already in the action that it has been moving you. Yes. Get away from it. Yeah, I want to also say, if you have daddy issues, you even more so need to take caution in your dating experience, mm -hmm. because the type of void that you're dealing with and the type of tolerance that you do have to BS mm -hmm. is way higher than, than a woman whose dad was in the house affirming her. Like, no, you better not let no Negro da 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 da. If he, uh-uh, tell him to come to the front door. He need, mm -hmm. what's up? Hey, John, how you doing? My, da -da. Like a woman that comes from a loving father or protecting father of someone that guided her typically goes through less chaos in their dating life i had a dad in the home my dad was active and so it's it you can see the difference in women who are missing their father as well so if you are missing your father maybe he was there or he just wasn't active you have to take even more caution because you don't know subconsciously how you're moving how you're searching just for the touch and the love of a man i don't know what i was watching today but it was something um, what was I watching on TV or YouTube somewhere? Lord, bring it. I don't so, even know. This is love or whatever you call that. This no, I was watching something <sighs> and this girl was just explaining like, like just basically like I was just searching for the touch of a man. Like mm. I, I didn't have a dad hug on me. So I was just craving a, the masculine touch. I'm like, my God. Wow. So yes, you're going to be used as a sacrifice. You got so many dog Negroes that don't, they don't give a darn about you. They want to get one off so they can tell their homies. That's it. And so mm. it's up to you to take these precautions and just to give um, so, somebody that's listening right now, a woman that's listening right now, like, well, how do I do that? Sis, you gotta have community. You gotta have the safety net of brothers and sisters in Christ yeah. around you. And then when you do begin to date someone, y'all gotta stop dating so privately. Like, nah, bring bro around. Mm -hmm. Hey, come to church. Yeah, we're going to... um. Papa those afterwards, pull up. And then your brothers in Christ who really been rocking with the Lord, your sisters, whatever, mm -hmm. they can start to inspect like, mm, okay, so bro, so what you been doing for the last three? How long you been saying? And you can get these people to get around because a lot of, it's just a lot of private dating mm -hmm. from women that haven't even really made a, a made a standard for themselves in dating. They're just kind of winging it because they want to mm -hmm. be married. You better not wing this game. You better not wing it. You mess around and have the, a kid with the wrong one that could literally be repercussions and reaping your bad decision that you made on one night for the rest of your life. Message. How we know that? Because we've we we yeah. experience it. Yeah. I was about to say we've experienced no, we it. We experience we it. We experience it. Like I don't speak from no, I'm telling you from real life real life what I deal with as far as it goes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we got things like real talk. We can see a smile and do what we do, man. We're persevering through it all. Persevering. Because it's a lot of stuff in the background that yeah. we had to deal with as far as consequences from things that I did in me trying to figure myself out, just really trying to be esteemed as a man. You understand? Because of maybe mom didn't do as much certain things. You know what I'm saying? Because she didn't get what she needed. You know what I'm saying? And so you end up being this sacrifice from patterns of a whole family tree, it what shouldn't even be for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what ends up happening because he this fella, he like he said, he's just trying to figure it out. He still he has he didn't before he went on this show, he did not go and think to have therapy to get, deal with the situation of him going and having to see his dad cheat on his mom. So now he's scarred for life, thinking that I'm gonna do what my daddy did. Yeah. That's that's tough right there, man. And, then, and that's why I also don't beat Clay down because he was so, I watched another interview where he was talking. He was like, I didn't even know that that affected me until this show. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even know my daddy taking me on trips. His dad took him on tri trips mm -hmm. as he cheated. He was like, I didn't even know that affected me. Mm. And and we all like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hecka of us don't know <laughs> that things are affecting us as we're dating. Yeah. Why am I seeking so much from men and validate? Yeah. Oh, dang it. My daddy, da 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 da. My mama, da da. That's all Come of on. us. That's why I was like, y'all going pretty hard for probably most Americans that ain't even been to therapy to yeah. talk about this stuff. Yeah. No, all of us got some baggage. And I love what you said. Like, no, we're dealing with mama did this. Yeah. Grandma did this. 
And so you have to go to therapy. And I think it's dope that that he even took this 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 show as an experiment for, experiment for himself to be like, OK, now I know. But that's her. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, while he did the experiment. Right. So he's mm -hmm. walking away with some evidence of who he is. Mm -hmm. My thing is, I think A.D., I might not be walking away with mm. the same type of evidence because we all going, yeah, girl, you bomb. Look at that booty yeah. in them thighs. But somebody probably need to be like, sis, you need to look at your stuff too because I re I am sure you probably wouldn't have felt mm. as much of a sacrifice if you had not given your body to him. Yeah. If you did not, if you were not intimate with him, if you did not, because that th th that's really the base of it. That's really that. If they had just been dating da 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 it would have been like that's your loss but at least it's not a new body at least i i didn't connect my soul with you through intimacy and so yeah i think she needs to look back and be like why do i mind y'all mm -hmm. we ain't showing all of it she said this keeps happening she mm -hmm. says she, she yeah. keeps yes. getting close yes she keeps yes. getting close so when do you learn that like what step back what do i keep doing Okay, maybe I'll just take away sex. You know what the problem is, babe? A lot of women are unfortunately, when they get, whenever they're out of a relationship, they're on a victim parade. Oh. So many, so what happens is all the homegirls or all the people come to make you feel like you, that you wasn't the problem, he was. Oh, no, exactly. you was the problem too you because problem you picked him. Too. Because you let him do what he did as well. Amen. So listen, you, you heard the problem too. And I think that we, you know, we've seen that where someone who who was on a victim parade, Oof. you got to go on this victim parade. So now that y'all, y'all coddled her, y'all yes. coddled this person. Now they never grow. Learn. Yeah. They never she grow because you never she, say. AD literally cannot grow from this situation right. because she is literally the world's favorite person right now. Yeah. So y'all not even giving her the room to be like, nah, sis, you literally said I paint my nails red with red flags. Wow. Dude is actually taking Going accountability. And I was like, I, I said, actually, I rock with him. I said, I when I seen him on that on that uh, reunion, I said, I like him. He's a stand up guy to say, no, this is I me. was wrong. I was wrong. She didn't all hold, him. He dang near had to hold I, back tears. And I want to know as we wrap this up in yeah. the comments below. Do y'all think that A.D. was wrong at all? Come on. Like, this is why there was a comment that said or there's this uh, viral skit that's going on where they're like, a, a, a man that's going to church and they run like oh my god <laughs> there's a man that's going a man that is uh honest and they run they're like yes it's a man put in the comment he said a woman that holds herself accountable i'm like yeah that's why people be loving your reels the men going the men be on her reels talking about protect her at all costs yeah, and all that because nobody's <laughs> ever seen a woman speak up and say i emasculated him yeah i did these type of things yeah i wasn't the best in my marriage women that typically doesn't happen. And guess what? It's They're typically the ones that's filing for the D word. It, it's just, it's, it's so that's why I said it's good to do community and do right community because it's up to us to be like, sis, bro, why do you keep having sex so fast? Mm -hmm. Boo. Doing so much. Why yeah. do you keep doing it so fast? So, yeah, we want to know. Yeah. Tell us what y'all think in the comments down below. Do y'all think AD is wrong? Do y'all think Clay is wrong? How do y'all feel about it? Y'all, we, we would love to chat with y'all in the comments. This is an Iwebu production. Period. All right, let's get into this chat, y'all. Um, uh, We kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. Didn't mean to go that long, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to keep it real. So, uh. You want to read some of these, baby? And I'll put up the ones that you I actually got you, read. Daddy. So we got your consist. Did you? I don't know. I know how to pronounce this name. I think First she's all, Nigerian. I, I want to give a shout to super chat to the super chat. Hold on, I got any more before I do it's this. It's Ni Nigerian name. I think. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got. Hold on. We got. Oh, we got a few. Of praise God. Okay, let's see here. Uh, hold on. Now listen. Before I do this, please understand that my mom is from KC. Kansas City. And my dad is from Nigeria and I lived with my mom. So I don't do the pronunciations the way I should or anything. So please forgive me, <laughs> my African sister, on when I say this name. I'm going to say uh, Oninye. Oninye? Oninye. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, that sounds... Oh, yeah, tell us, tell us listen, how to pronounce this. Is. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. Thank you. Really. We appreciate that. Listen, tell me, like, tell me how we say it in the actual chat. 
listen, I'm, I was saying my own name wrong for the longest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Till I heard my daddy say, I was like, oh, okay. I got that all wrong. But I mean, I still say <laughs> Namdi just the American way when it's in Namdi. So, <laughs> so, okay, you want me to start with the first? Uh, I got one more super chat to shout out. Okay, period. Uh, real quickly here. Uh, Josh, got, you in the building. Yes. As always. What's good? Thank you, Josh. 100 episodes and beyond. Hey, for sure, yes, bro. We're yes, going sir. for that, man. Yes, we sir. definitely appreciate the super chat, man. You always been rocking with us as well. So uh, let me go up here and go to some of these. Go ahead. Which one you want me to pull up, babe? Um, I'm going to just uh, go through them and I guess we can pull them up when we sit on it a little bit. Okay. Um, Sierra said, AD, you can pull this up. It's under the onion, yay. On you. Okay. Yeah. Yep. AD. Okay. AD admitted to being a fixer. She said she was trying to get out of it and it ended up, it ended up back in it. Yeah. I think all of us are fixers. Like mm. we're just all are. That's why we Women. got, yeah. That's why we literally have to be so yeah. just aware and like, no, I can't. I'm too precious. That's the thing. Like knowing that you're a jewel, because once you get married, like sis, listen, every woman under the sound of my voice, listen up. The type of what was that? My glasses. I do not the know. type of pouring that this man gets from me on every level, yes. intellectually, emotionally, intimately, romantically, spiritually physically all of these things that i pour into him that i couldn't imagine ha doing this for the wrong man that will what yeah <laughs> and then have to move on and do it again that's tough i could not imagine and i know that's so many women's story i know i i am a a small percentage right mm -hmm. i do know that and i just i'm like y'all if we can just stop giving so much fixing so fast because all of that is meant for one man yeah it you you are not supposed to be spread thin that that quick okay yeah, let me yeah, keep going because yeah. i can go <laughs> ad was blinded by her love for clay for sure yes i don't think your opinion is unpopular i've seen people hold them both accountable and ad said she did go to therapy so she thought she was healed from it mm. and ended up in the same pattern oh i did not know that mm, thank you for that information there we did not i know think that was that. another reason she was so upset after he said no <laughs> ad mm. wanted to fix clay but see, but this unfortunately, is unfortunately he just was wasn't ready. I commend his honesty. I did too. But the thing, but the thing is, is that here's the thing about, and this is why believers, I would say, get you a Christian therapist because they're gonna go by your values. Because I don't know what her, I don't know if hers wasn't or whatever. But a lot of times that part won't be brought up as much. Maybe you know, yeah. they a lot of times they won't encourage. Um, you have more of a, I guess, non-believer. Um, uh, therapist, they probably tell you leave your husband if he give you too much issue. That's you know? true. Yeah. And so I don't. I'm not saying that that wasn't a part of hers, but I wonder if it was. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna try to speed through these a little bit. The conversation between Clay's mom and dad was so good. We need more conversations like that. We do. We definitely need. We definitely need parents and grandparents to talk. That would be great. You just decided, you just described a soul tie. You preaching. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just about to say soul tie. So true. Protect your ear gates. I'm interested if AD also has some childhood trauma like Clay, where she may be suffering from wounds she thought were healed. That allows me also to, to hold her cocoon, cocoon table. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean? Am I saying that right? Co Cocoon table, but have, have grace, grace for, for her. It might be a word that we haven't uh, gotten too deep in our vocabulary for you. Um, right? <laughs> um, but I was going to say childhood trauma. Yes. Just like Clay, he didn't even know until he started dating and started seriously thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. So some things you don't, you're literally not, uh, shoot, there was things I wasn't aware of until like year four, five, six mm -hmm. <laughs> in marriage, you know, mm -hmm. where I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you never, yeah. even her saying, I thought I was healed. I do think that you overcome a lot, but like, this is a journey. You don't know what part of your life can bring out something new that you didn't know about. Real talk, real talk. Um, she definitely has daddy issues. Yeah. I, I mean, I think her father is, I think her, her, I'm pretty sure her father passed away. 
Uh, yeah, because he wasn't well, at least no man was there to walk her. I'm down pretty the aisle, sure, but no, I, I didn't because she said on the certificate she has to say father is deceased. So no, yeah, I'm so sorry. Dude. I love y'all's perspective on this. Thank you, Mia. We love you, girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get into this next one, y'all. Yes. This next topic. We're doing, the, we doing to the okay. Oh, is it Love Lounge? Yeah, yeah. So it's time around. for Love Lounge. Let's do it. So let's get it. Wait, let me find yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> All right. We we appreciate everybody's um perspective on this ad and clay situation because it's been having the world talking man and praying for them man okay i got it you got it all right mm -hmm. cool let's get it this is an iwebu production period what's up y'all we are back with another love lounge In the Love Lounge, we answer all of your dating, relationship, marriage questions. So this is a quick moment that you can get kind of some, some free relationship advice from us. Uh, we love answering all your questions. So y'all make sure y'all email us at eweboos1 at gmail.com. You can create you a little burner account if you want to, you know, keep it all the way real. If you're not comfortable with being vulnerable. Or you can DM us um, on our Instagram at the Eweboos. And so we're, today, we're actually going to be answering multiple questions because we want to kind of chill with y'all, answer y'all questions. So for those that are here live with us as well, if you have questions, you can type it in the comment and we might get to them today. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to start off with the first one that I got on my stories. I probably need to actually look on my stories to see if there are even more, but we'll start with the first one. Okay. How do you steward a godly friendship with the opposite sex once y'all begin to like one another, especially after both people are getting confirmations from God, but we don't want to move too quickly? How mm. do you steward this well? That's that's good. I think I'm first off, I'm glad that that person is reaching out for some guidance on that because yeah, many people don't ever come out and talk about that. Yeah. Um, you know, first off, it's it's regular, like it's um, you know, usual for uh, a man and woman to become attracted to each other. That's why sometimes, we're like when it's when it's the opposite sex, you know, uh, best friends, kind of got to tread lightly a, a little bit, especially if they're uh, a you know, they're each other's type in a, in a certain way as well. Yeah, but. For sure. One of the things I would say when it, it comes to this is, number one, let others know that y'all digging each other, mm -hmm. y'all community, um, because sometimes when is they want to keep it private just in case it don't work out. Mm -hmm. So they want to keep it private. Like, so everybody still know y'all is the cool best friends right. that of the opposite sex. Well, they want to keep it from everyone else. But I'm going to tell you something that you probably not want to do. Because because you probably heard people, pr people probably have already messed with y'all about this. Like, oh, no, nah, y'all, you don't, you, you don't like it. No, we're strictly friends. We, you know, mm -hmm. it's already your friend. Are you like, man, you crazy? I don't know why you ain't never talked to him. Da, da, da. And he, you know, man, you ain't never tried to holler at him. Man. What, you know, and y'all both been trying to play that role for so long that y'all don't want to let everybody in on. Hey, we actually digging each other. So number one, I would say, go ahead, bring everybody in. Let, let these people know. And from there. Uh, I think it's just going on in, in court. And, you know, you know what your non-negotiables are just because y'all been friends before. That does not mean that now those become negotiable. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what exactly it is that you want. And is he is that person matching up with that? I might have to tell you something, though. I'm thinking, what if this don't work out? Mm -hmm. That's because why I'm saying because it will. If, yes, Stuart, it will. Because if this don't work out, my only thing is y'all move on and y'all and you find your husband he find his wife and then you got to be real with y'all got to be real with y'all spouses that y'all have had you know i'm not that y'all have done anything i don't know what y'all have done but that y'all have had feelings with each other <laughs> and they may say hey that's no longer so the question is if it doesn't work out yeah are like do y'all feel like y'all are okay with your significant other still remaining friends with someone who they once tried to pursue. That's, and that's probably that's an absolute no. Oh, yeah. I would be like, nope. <laughs> like, that's a no. Like, yeah. it's, it's most likely a no, but yeah. I'm sorry, baby. No, I, that's that's really all I say is, like, let people know, you know, make sure you, you're non-negotiables. I won't go into the whole, if you watched our uh, last part there on AD and Clay, listen, don't, don't get into the intimacy if y'all haven't already. If y'all have, 
break away as much as you can like do your best to do that and um, like I said, get some accountability around. Make sure that you guys are dating in, in community and letting other people that you trust their eyes, uh, you know, trust, um, get into the mix so they can let you know what they see or what they feel. And somebody that's not too caught up on the hype, too, because, you know, somebody can be like, oh, girl, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been knowing y'all would be the greatest fit ever. And, you know, so they willing to look past his red flags, too, for y'all to be together. Yeah. Um, you know him pretty good if you guys have been because they said best friends, right? I, no, I'm not oh, they, best friends. Oh, they was yeah. friends. Okay, so you might know him, uh, you know, pretty well based off of his some of his dating patterns. Don't ignore him, because <laughs> yeah. I don't mean that stops because you was his friend. You might become an enemy after this. Y'all might, yeah, you know, if it's if it's not done right. But go ahead, man. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that pops out to me first, I also want to say when we don't when we say don't date privately, we're not saying date necessarily publicly either yeah. so we're not saying post them on your page you know go on instagram what we're saying is for people your coaches a spiritual parent a mm -hmm. advisor close friends mm -hmm. that are they have good fruit they 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 live a life that is decent those are the people that you're like hey i've been i've been looking at um derek for quite some time and you know, do you know anything about him? Do you have y'all heard anything? Like you do that type of thing. So we're not, again, that's not mm -hmm. public dating. So that's the first thing, like asking around about his dating stuff, asking around um, mm -hmm. that. That's what we mean by saying stop dating privately. Number two, but it's kind of number one as well. Yes. Like do whatever you can do, create those boundaries to where y'all don't cross the line of intimacy. Yeah. It, I'm sorry, y'all. Every time y'all hit this podcast, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. We're going to talk about not crossing that line because it's just, it's jacked. <laughs> like it just, it really jacks yeah. your whole perspective. And so I think stewarding your friendship is, first of all, dating is collecting data. So when you are, when, now that y'all are crossing over into mm. the dating season, all you're doing is literally going out to restaurants, going bowling, doing these type of things in group settings. And you're just asking the questions that need to be asked. Mm -hmm. Hey, are, what's, how's the relationship with your parents? Where are you from? Is your mom and dad married? Oh, that's dope. When did you, you know, think when you were young, you thought you were going to be married? Do you want to be married? What's your season like right now? What's, what do you feel like your purpose is? What does your community look like? Like asking all of these questions as you're collecting data mm -hmm. to see if this is sincerely the type of man that you want to be. So I think that this can be, because you are friends, it can really be a very free type of, experiment for you you know like mm. continue to be friends as you ask deeper questions and then also number three i think that's the number i'm on pray yes. like ask the lord to to guide you through this like mm -hmm. lord help me to this is y'all when as as women of god and I, i'm only going to talk to us because i'm a woman <laughs> This, these are our brothers in Christ at the same time. And so you don't want to pervert anything because he's still a man of God and he's still your brother. So just being aware of like, God, help me to handle my brother. Help me to handle what could be my potential husband. Well, God, how would you have me treat him? And I think more than anything, um, as you stay in the word, you stay on your face and you stay connected with God, you pray for discernment and wisdom on your moves, you'll be good. Yeah. Just set those boundaries. Don't be in the house alone. Don't be in, you know, out too late. Date in the daytime. Have fun. Go out with him with groups continuously. Yeah. Ask people privately about him, right? Mm -hmm. Seek seek godly counsel the bible says that in a multitude of counselors and advisors two descriptions is victory and what's the other one protect safety mm -hmm. there's victory and safety in a multitude of oh, counselors counsel. and yep, advisors yep. so yep. so so begin to ask begin to talk mm -hmm. begin to you know what i'm saying and don't fall in love so fast sis like a lot of times we put God in and be like god is telling us god is god a god 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 yeah. and it's like slow down see with your eyes and your mm -hmm. head see with yes. your eyes and your head and your spirit and see if this is something you really want to do and take your time no rush yeah i was uh i've been recently reading this book uh called better decisions fewer regrets mm -hmm. and i think i can't remember what the, the author's name was but um I, I was reading a part of it and it was talking about confirmation bias and and so I and it was telling us like basically a lot of times we seek information that will agree with what we want to hear. 
Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, for me, if I want to buy something, <laughs> I'll be looking for every reason why I know I need this. No, right. even though I know right now, probably the best time to get it. I'm like, nah, I'll make up all these different ways and I'll look up different ways. Like, nah, this is best for me for this reason and that reason. And I'm going to talk to people who's going to going to tell me what I want to hear sometimes. That's my confirmation bias. He was talking and he said something to the extent of, and I'm paraphrasing, like basically you need to lean into the per the people that will tell you different from what mm -hmm. it is that you truly want. Cause they, they probably see something that you cannot see. That's good. And I would say lean into that because all of us have a confirmation bias. Definitely. Soon as we want something, we go and look for certain things to like, if we have a certain things like polit politics, people do this. They, you know, you want to stay with the Democrats. So you're looking for all the things that line up with, with what the Democrats want. But it's like, mm, no, the Republicans might have something that you need to actually think about and really actually listen to yeah. uh, on that side as well. So, you know, I, I would tell you to lean into who who's the person that stands out to you if they're not a hater, who's like, mm, nah, or I, check out this, slow down, watch this. Lean into what that person has to say Agreed. as well. With it, you got anything good. else on that? Mm -hmm. No, I'm going hey, to the next one. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this oh. situation. We're going to go to the next one, but mm -hmm. I'm going to do the bumper. But uh, oh, y'all yeah. let I'm going to do the bumper. And then, yeah, so you know, in the, okay. cut it off or whatever okay, on there as well. But y'all let us know what y'all think about uh, that same question. How would y'all answer that down in the so comments? So am I supposed to start this all over? The love? No. No, I just want to put a bumper there. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> this is an Iwebu production. Period. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next question. What are your thoughts on pulling a Ruth move, letting a guy know you have interest in him before he does? Mm -hmm. uh, so you want to go down the storyline? <laughs> I don't have a storyline. You got a storyline. <laughs> how you came after me. Yeah. Baby. You know what I'm saying? Leslie, you want to keep it real with him, baby? So I didn't come after my husband. I mean, he didn't um, come, but I made, def you definitely was. Namdi was just. Yeah. Okay. So clearly, you probably have not seen this podcast before because <laughs> I am an advocate for women getting what they want. Come on. Um, no. Shout out to all the women that's <laughs> going after what it is that they want out there. Hey, you, hey, it's that season. You got to. Come on, you. It's, I mean, what's that time? And it's the moment in time is now that women, Negroes will stand on, no, they, they will stand I, on no, the wall. They I, won't approach no, you nowadays. That's true. <laughs> so. I'm not okay with that. Um, so I am assertive and I am not afraid of getting, and when I want something, I'm gonna get it. That's just what it is. So that's including a man. <laughs> so I got it. Hey, I'm oh, sorry, uh, girl. What are you talking, girl? <laughs> hey, y'all. Oh, Jesus, after this. Oh, come on now. Go ahead and speak. Oh, Jesus. So with, hey, I had to man, set up go. because I need to let somebody Ooh. know, like, yes. I, so how do we feel about it? It's a it's a heck yes to me. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we got to stop assuming as well that men are just super confident in approaching beautiful women. Like, you got to think about how mean women can be. And how, you know, just unapproachable women can be. And so I don't think that there's nothing wrong with letting, positioning yourself to be talked to, right? So there's one thing to like pursuing a man, like when you gonna take me out, when you, mm -hmm. hey, let's go out tonight. And, hey, what about me? Me, me, pick me. I'm over here. Like that's mm -hmm. one thing. But I think that it's a completely different thing to just casually, femininously <laughs> mm -hmm. approach a man, introduce yourself. Ask him how he's doing. What does he do? And begin to start a conversation. I think that is highly attractive to men. Mm -hmm. and, and it doesn't have to be on some like, hey, nigga, give me your number now. Like, <laughs> it don't have to come <laughs> off aggressive or assertive. You can do it in such a poised way that he mm -hmm. won't even know that you kind of just ran game on him and got his number. Um, but I think a lot of times men are just afraid. Like, just because they're masculine doesn't make them more confident in like relational dating settings they can be just as nervous they can be just as overthinking and insecure in some ways and so i don't think there's there's nothing wrong with it but i do think that i i'm never and i'm sorry babe i gotta talk about past 
stuff to oh, me. Oh Lord. Y'all so be, I've y'all never pray, done pray, it. Pray. I've never done it <sighs> and had any inkling that he wouldn't be interested in me too. So it is it you you gotta kinda go 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 ahead. It's something about it. I, that I think might be picking up right now in the mics. Can y'all hear beeps? That? Yeah, I know what it is. It's my iPad? No, no, no. You want me to get it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hold on one second. <laughs> Welcome to no, Pillow we gotta, Talking. Yeah, we, gotta, we gotta this is real life, y'all. That is so crazy. I, I kept hearing it, but I'm like, am I tripping? Is it my stuff? <laughs> okay, y'all. Last week I got up and used the restroom. Um, so I'll just finish what I'm saying. Um, I think there, I think that there is a big difference between being a pick me and like desperate and being poised, classy, feminine, and just knowing what you desire and, and or being aware of the type of man that you want. So if you are at an event, no, don't just sit in the corner and do nothing. Like, you know. Move around the room. Let yourself be seen. Start conversations. And most of the time, a man going to ask you for your number anyways. So I think it's a yes. So now Namdi wants me to get to the part where I talk about us. Because it's his favorite story. <sighs> yeah. It's, it, our family loves to hear. Like we, we have a good time talking about this every time we get with your side of the family. <laughs> yeah. So um. Again, I am an uh, assertive woman, so I just I just go after what I want. So it's not difficult for me to do it. With Namdi, when we first got around one another, both of us, and this, both of us just got out of relationships. Um, so I wasn't looking for no one, but once I found out that he was single, and then I kind of <clears> realized, <throat> like, dang, he's like super dope. I, I I started inspecting the fruit. I'm like, okay, he has a a dope home. He has a nice car. He has a good job. I know he can take care of me. Call it shallow. I knew I wanted a provider. I knew that I did not want to have to work. There were certain things that I just knew, and I knew that he could provide that. How's that shallow? Well, because, you know, people nowadays are 50-50 and stuff, babe. Yeah. Yeah, Most are, women, even that they said in the workforce, no, what, no, they don't want to work. They women be lying about that. Be home. People, baby, when when I be saying this type of stuff, women be like, I could never just completely depend on a man. I need my own money. I don't want to ask a man for nothing. Even her husband, she wants if she want to be able to hop up and go get a wig, she don't want to have to ask her husband. So especially women that get married later in life, it's they done built a certain level of independence. You got me young, so I don't care. Yeah, like yeah. I never cared, but he just had certain attributes that I knew mm-hmm. I would be safe with him. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let this opportunity pass me up. He's an attractive man. He makes good money. Um, I'm right here. You're right here. So yeah, what's up? <laughs> For sure. No, nah, it's nice. Hey, you you went you went and I was good. Like you made it, it. Yeah, and it wasn't like, hey, please. Like you said, pick me. It was Definitely just. Not. It was just you left me little signs that it, it was like, hey, it was so so um, subtle that you didn't even know. Nah, you didn't, didn't even really. know that I had been working on you. When I look back, <laughs> like, he didn't even know. In hindsight, <laughs> in hindsight, I looked at a few things and I was like, hmm. I was like, okay, that's now this stuff is making some sense. You know, what was the first thing that I did, babe? Now, see, I could go back, back. And no, you're gonna, no, I'm not talking about all this. Stuff. Okay, so the first thing that you really that you at did was you sh- that you sh- that you showed up on my doorstep. And you said, or I think you might have told me first that you was gonna be coming. Mm-hmm. At this point, I think we might have had each other's contact. Maybe yeah, you might have you might have messaged me or something. Did I? You did. Oh, wow, I did. Okay, I probably did. Well, okay. So you, but I think you asked was I home, and you stopped by with some sweet potato pie. Okay, from- boom, boom, number one. <laughs> so that is not nothing that I don't think is like. Is it now? Probably for anybody else, that would have been like, okay, Namdi still, he was just not there, y'all. He still didn't know. Oh, but I feel like that was still subtle. Like, hey, welcome to the, literally, I was on some, hey, welcome to the neighborhood, because he had moved <laughs> in my apartment building. Here's the sweet potato pie. Okay, what's the second thing? Yeah, I think the the you, then the next time you brought, your mom must have cooked something, or I don't know what it was, and y'all had it left over from a gathering. Yeah. Oh, somebody, somebody, Yeah, somebody's yeah. party. You brought some food. I'm like, okay, well, I can definitely, because 
I, I cook, but I wasn't, you yeah. know, I was doing a lot of fast food. So I'm like, okay, you feed me. Mm-hmm. And then we eventually, you, you sitting there talking to me and you gave me, a, you, I was talking about women and mm-hmm. you gave me some um, advice, stopped me from doing something that I was looking to do as far as uh, with dating only a specific type of woman. And so you you did that. And then when you, when I really knew, when I really knew, I was like, I had one time I went to my car to go go to work in the morning. So she, you know, she rap. My, my wife's a Christian hip hop artist, and she left her cover, uh, her cover art. I, I'm, I'm gonna bring it one day so I can show everybody. I still got it. She left it uh, with "Have a nice day, have a great day" on my car on my uh, windshield wiper. I was like, look at this. I said, oh, you, you sweet on on now, the young girl. Right? You sweet on me, huh? Are uh, you what you want? Uh, you like you like me, girl? <laughs> I was, so I was like, oh shoot. The okay. point that I'm making is all of those things don't make you feel any type of way. Like leaving him, have a nice day, made him feel like that. Yeah. Bringing over a sweet potato pie that was already made for other people. Hey, here's a slice. Listen, knowing his knowing his what he like, cause see. I had plastered it all over uh, Facebook many times. Yeah, he's, and on Thanksgiving, everybody knows that Nambi likes sweet potato pie. And a lot of that's what, that's one of uh, the girls at church told me. She she kind of was more like you know one of my sisters. Uh, she was like, Nambi, you got to stop. She's like, you got to stop telling girls that you like the sweet potato yeah, that's pies. She wanted you, you, you just gonna get that though. <laughs> she is like, no, Nambi, you you she just look at them as a friend you. and you just getting a the pie. They thinking of other things. I was like, I'm just. I, just, I can't just take pie from my sisters. No, from people, you know, you can't. You darn from sure women. Can't. No, I didn't. I did not think that, and I didn't think if I if I accepted some pie from a girl, she liked me. I was man, but then again, I'm I'm a little different, brother. I was kind of naive in, in some of those things. Yes, yeah, so I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. I think that it's just how you do it. Um, I think that you know, I think that we are in a time right now where. So many women want to get married, but they don't leave the house. They don't go anywhere. And then when they go somewhere, they don't talk to anyone. I think that you, I think you, yeah, you see an attractive man, you have a conversation. Like Mm. we need to get up our people skills anyway. So have a conversation Mm. with these dudes and see what they're about. See if you like the way they talk. See if you like the way they hold a conversation, what comes out of their mouth and just ask them about themselves because they love talking about themselves and just you'll begin to kind of get some insight. So um, how we, how I feel is I think it's totally fine. Atlanta girls, y'all got to speak up. <laughs> oh, y'all got to big time. Go um, to the next one. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, do a, do a okay. hey, y'all let us know what y'all think about that question. Y'all got any thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments below. This is an Iwebu production. Period. All righty. So this question is kind of like the last one, mm-hmm. which is, oh, I didn't screenshot it. Hold I don't on. Like the last one. Do we want to do it if it's like the last one? I mean, it's how should women approach men when interested? How should they approach men? We already. I guess I did kind of yeah, say that. Just went that. Did I say how, how should we? I mean, how, how oh, should I mean, you didn't give it? descriptive okay. way. I think, yeah, but I think she kind of gets the point that she needs to make herself no look look pretty um look feminine be feminine start a conversation get confident watch a bunch of youtube videos on how to have a conversation Mm -hmm. i know that sounds very weird but like a lot of us just don't know how to have how how to get to know someone the best thing you can do is be a great listener ask the right questions have some questions kind of in your mind write them out of the of what you want to know about a person you know without even getting so deep you can ask simple questions oh there was this video that i saw Mm -hmm. a guy said if you want to know somebody's values ask them what what is the thing that if you had to do one thing for the rest of your life what would it be and i thought that was so good because you can write in and there you know see and people in the comments are like, oh, I would just love to be at home with my kids, gardening, da da da. So, you know, no. okay, I probably got to stay at home mom. Oh, I would love to just, you know, help and speak all over the world. Okay, boom, I got an entrepreneur. Like, you can kind of mm-hmm. get to know a person. So, have your questions prepared, look beautiful. 
Um, know how to have a conversation. Practice looking people in their eyes. Do this before you get to talking to a man. Practice on your girlfriends. Practice on women at women events. Get out a little bit more so that you can build up your social get confidence. Out. Like you want to build up that social confidence because so many of us are just in. We're inside the house. So yes. that's some practical advice. Hopefully that helps. Yes. Um, the next question is... Um, and he reworded it and it's a guy. So I thought this was really cool. How would, how would you go about courting with a friend, basically getting out of the friend zone? Hmm. How can he get out of the friend zone, babe? Ooh, man. I, I guess I can, I'll probably have to get right to it, man. You, the only way to get out the friend zone is to actually be assertive. It's if there's a man being assertive. Uh, <laughs> I ain't going to say his name. Okay. I, I mean, y'all wouldn't go say it anyway, but I'm like, he might know I'm talking about this. But I, I we had a friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you already know, but we had a friend. And I remember this friend, man, he was always with this one chick all the time. And a lot of brothers, you know, was attracted to this chick, but he like he had front row seat. He was with her. He would I mean he can go to her place and and everything. And we would always ask him, "Hey, have you tried to?" And he like, "Nah, bro. She this that." Hey. <laughs> Let me not use his voice. Let me not use his voice because it'll give it away. To but yeah, he's just like, "No, nah, you know." He would give us whatever the, the the excuse was about it, but he had done. Just pretty much everything that you can do with this person, and he was just stuck in this friend zone. And so when he met this other, you know, well, we we kept trying to encourage the brother to first off speak up to the other one, but he just never really fully did it. He just wanted to do the little flirty things, and that's not attractive to a woman, you know. When you're just doing the little flirty things, if you're not being, you know, direct that hey, I'm hey, I'm trying to holler, what's up? If you're not doing that, man, they're not attracted to that. So I told the brother with the with the next one and on. Now I don't know where he's at in his dating life at this point, but I told him for now on, man, listen, with this next one, he, he tried it with this next sister that he that he met, and he tried to be direct <laughs> up front. He said that, you know, basically he told her straight up, like, hey, I'm digging you. I just want you to know, even though I'm, you know, give you a ride here or whatever, I'm digging you. And she declined them but <laughs> so it might have broke his heart but listen man you got to go through the nose to get to the yeses i'm in yes. sales and if i don't if i don't open up my mouth and ask for the sale it's like hey listen this is what i'm seeing boom 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 hey let's let's go ahead how's that sound to you hey let's go ahead and get this done today if i if i don't be assertive then i'm not gonna make that money you yeah. understand i'm not gonna be able to help that person i'm not gonna make that money well guess what if you're not assertive brother Listen, they want they want the confident brother. They don't want the sitting in the back and all that. Mo what I got was special. That wasn't gonna be the usual. Like it, it just wasn't gonna happen like that. And um, you can't play the shy guy. <laughs> That's not gonna happen nowadays. So I would just tell you it's only one way to do this, and you might end up getting turned down. Listen, I've been somebody has turned me down before that I tried to holler at. For my wife, they turned me down in a great, nice way. It, you will live another day. And please believe there are so, like, yo, I guess the old school people say, they like buses, they they coming around. They'll, there's another one coming around every two seconds. Like, that's how it is. There's so many more that's out there. Crazy. I know you want that one right there. But if she tell you no, you will live to holler at a girl another day. <laughs> so that's, like, be assertive. Just straight up tell her. And that's crazy because it's kind of the opposite advice for the woman. It's like you're being assertive more with positioning yourself to like be there. Mm -hmm. But like with a woman, yes, we do want to hear, hey, you know, I've been da 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 da. So you're yeah. going to have to be prepared for whatever that outcome can be. And now you got to know because you crossed that line, it could also mess up the friendship. Um, I yeah. definitely had a situation where a friend tried to come on over to the other side. And then I was like, dang, we definitely can't be friends because now I know you like me and that's crazy. And why you tell me that, <laughs> you know, so you just got to be aware of what could possibly happen because you're trying to go on over to the other side. But hey, you never know. Maybe she's shy and she's afraid to say something and it could work out to be a beautiful thing.
Yeah. No, you just got to you got to be okay with all the outcomes. Got look look at all the outcomes. Why do you want her? It's just cuz she's the only one around. Like you just got to really look at is is it worth the risk of yes. losing a friendship? I, I would tell you look at some, you know, it's a lot of brothers out there that 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 give you tips on just uh maybe approaching women or or other manly things out there. And I would say look up some of those videos. Uh one guy cuz my my mind Style OG. Uh Style OG is really good. And, you know, I don't know if he gives tips on uh, hollering at women, but I know he does on clothes and things of that sort. So I'm just telling you, there's many of pages out there. Like, I believe that's what, how Kevin Samuels got started was, you know, teaching men how to, you know, groom themselves and things of that sort and uh, talk to women. And so there's a there's too much information out there out there for you to not do that, um, for you not to do that equipped. You can do that. Uh, fully confident and ready to do it so mm -hmm. yeah for sure that's what i, I would say on there watch else? youtube no yeah watch youtube videos and that's everybody that's watching and yes. you're just trying to figure out how do i date like how do i get out how do i do this how do i first of all go like go to the places <laughs> where valued people are going like yes. people that have to pay something to get in and you know it's a good program it's a good uh convention or whatever like it's good places with god-fearing men and women get in those places and then don't just sit again don't sit in a corner if you got a yeah. friend that can come along with you to make you more comfortable yeah. do that whatever you got to do but learn how to start conversations and how to have them get on your hygiene mm -hmm. get on your style mm -hmm. get on your i don't care y'all it matters how you dress it matters the colors that you wear it matters if you are got lint all over you like know how to mm -hmm. groom know how know all the things and there's just a plethora of videos that you can watch to be able to look presentable and welcoming and inviting yeah and one of the tips that you said there i think men and women can use is just make like events in masterminds like these different people who, yes. where if maybe you have a passion for videography and you know this guy that you watch his youtube videos he has a group and you pay to be into this group the people that pay to get into something those are you typically a higher quality of a person most people aren't willing to pay for nothing oh my they God. want everything free everything. they don't believe that you got to sew where you're going they don't, they don't get none of that. It doesn't go to their psyche. So if you want a higher, first off, you want to be a higher level of a person, I would tell you to be in certain mm -hmm. programs that you actually have to pay for. Um, you know, that's, that's just where it says where your, your, um, your treasure is. That's where your heart is like that. That will show that. And so somebody there, they handle themselves a little bit differently. I could tell you, I'm in uh, a certain group, man. And I'm like, man, this is nothing but high level everybody high level up in this bad boy everybody i'm like if somebody wanted to find them a husband or wife this is definitely the group to do it and so yeah. i tell you get in the, get in these different small groups or if you're a, a believer get into like we're doing the small groups at our church get into some of those groups they got ones for singles and stuff I was like this is dope yeah like they got ways for you to connect uh tap into those different resources anything else on that babe all right well hey y'all let us know what y'all think he should do also in the comments below <laughs> This is an Iwebu production. Period. All right. Is it any, any more? Oh, no, that was it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said a day. Let's check out some of these comments real quick. Let's see this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, all right. Uh, where we at? Where we be? Yes, okay, where we at? Where we at, y'all? Y'all still pillow talking with us? Let's see here. There Let's you go. See. That's the book. Better Decisions Feel Regrets by Andy Stanley. Thank you so much, Grenade. Yes. Amazing book. Everybody, everybody that's watching this, y'all, like get into everything that we're saying, whether you're dating someone, you're in a relationship or not. Like continue to just work on personal and self-development. Like continue to grow in every area, emotionally, mentally, all the things. What you reading? Oh, she said, no, I can't hear it. I was thinking about the the deal. I was like, what, she, what couldn't she hear? I was like, I hope they could hear that clip because it was a little low. But anyway, no, I'll be she's thinking talking about too that much. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah everybody just continue to grow like that's another thing about mm -hmm. if you're if you're dating right now um and y'all aren't married continue to grow because you mess around and find out dang i don't like you <laughs> like i i want something else i want something different i yes. want more that's why we say like especially those of you that are dating later in life 
like really, really work on personal development because what a lot, a lot of times what women will do is they'll date where they're at, marry where they're at, continue to grow and no longer want to be with their husband. Now we're filing for divorce. Yeah. No, like work aggressively work on yourself mm -hmm. and the things that you want out of life so that you can become the person that you want to be around yeah. and, um, you know, can attract who you are. So yeah. get somebody who's moving in it. Like one thing about us, we both was moving. In, in a certain direction like you was moving in in the music and, and doing those things you was already serving you find somebody already in action of what you're seeking for and yeah. typically not saying all the time but typically that person is already doing certain things they already showing the fruits of yeah. of, of you don't want to so now we both train them and yeah. teach them and pull them mm -hmm. and come to church please do this <laughs> can you just read this book just come to this yeah. like you don't want to do that because you will be doing that for for a while i see a lot yeah that's that's the that's be yeah, the tough so, part yeah y'all that is hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on my wife said i was home peace <laughs> She said, I'm tired. She said, hey, listen. No, y'all. I be paying so much attention to y'all. I'm like, y'all, babe, we done kept them for an hour and a half, two hours. Like, let's oh go ahead and load them up. I'm gosh, sorry, y'all. It's all Forgive good. Me. Listen. Uh, uh, can can y'all say TK? Listen. We give you grace. Please. Yeah, it's all good. I got one. One last person has something for you. They they said, okay. TK, do you have any recommendations or fave YouTubers who speak about film grooming habits? Me. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who is this? Do I know? Him? It's what's uh, the name? Keep uh kendra girl you just gotta tap into my youtube um i am building something literally right now that i'll probably be dropping tomorrow what the the page it's already in it's in the it's up right now it's in the comment it's in the, the, the description right now you're talking about the, the yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it's already on the, it's in the comments so right can now. i announce that yeah you can right? okay no guys so i just didn't know <laughs> this is so funny. i didn't so okay quick testimony and we're gonna get out of here okay first and foremost y'all i have such an amazing group of women that i work with who had um just just amazing amazing women and um this girl literally or not a girl this woman literally uh voice memoed me and was like tk why do you not have your stuff together? I'm so sick of you for not having this stuff together. And I was like, dang, she's right. So we've been mm -hmm. working on the back end on getting my uh, officially becoming an Amazon influencer. <laughs> First of all, it's I'm like so has do. It's crazy. So I do have an Amazon storefront. I have all not all everything is not com uh, complete but right now i do have a hygiene and like smell good area uh um store so i have all of like the products that i use to smell good all day mm -hmm. i do have yeah. a video actually on our youtube on here um, and I think it's called how to stay fresh all day. And I talk about like the little mini purse that you should always carry and the items that you should have in it to stay fresh. Um, I have another section for wives to wifey, keep it spicy section where I have mm -hmm. adult. Yes. Adult. <laughs> all the married couples. All the married things, lingerie, toys, lubricants, um, things to keep you lubricated. All the things that people know me for now, which is hey, crazy. Some brother out there, like, yes, babe, listen, go to her storefront, get every hey, listen, yes. she put no, it in real. there. I have all of the supplements to where you wouldn't have to use anything. So just you know, pull up, do the look at the storefront. Um, I have Please. beauty products, my whole makeup uh regimen that I use for my foundation, primer, brows, all the things. Uh yep. everybody asks me about my press on nails. How do I get them to last so long? That's on my storefront. The glue that mm -hmm. I use, the nails that I use, except for the one that I got sponsored by. Praise Come God. On. She's getting sponsored. She's getting collapsed <laughs> in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. It's been it's just been so long. So Listen. yes, for the woman that comment, um mm -hmm. just actually like follow me, watch my um instagram is my last thing babe i, ha mm -hmm. I have close friends where i if if y'all and my close friends make some noise in the comments because i talk about everything in my close friends i talk about uh, intimacy i talk about orgasms i talk about 
uh, feminine hygiene. I talk about hygiene overall, beauty hacks, hair hacks, just all of the things, fitness, health, everything. So you could just gotta just tap in with me, sis. Yes. Um, and it's something that now that I know that women actually really do want this from me, it's something more and more that I will talk about. But I have a whole playlist tapping with TK that you will probably find really beneficial. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, and if you guys get anything from there that, you know, she gets a small commission from that, just so y'all know, I think we got to yeah. say something like that or put it in the description okay. or whatever. But it definitely goes to um, help out in this channel as well. So. It's in the description box. I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Description box just to say Takesha's um, Amazon. You better store. update the yeah, description yeah, box, period. I see you in the building. You do exactly what you're supposed to do. That's what I like about you. <laughs> yes, I didn't know you did so, it. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Hey, listen. <laughs> It's somebody who you know working in the background when you don't know it, man. Get, yeah. Man, I, I pray everyone can have that. Hey, listen, we also got merch too. Rdlove.shop, man. The shirt that you see right here, the accepted shirt. You see that the Holy Girl uh, era forever. Go in there, check it out. We also have uh, things on there. Make e a statement. I have ebooks. Yes, e I have e um, meal planners. I have time blocking journals. I have crop tops, purses, hats. Y'all, we got so much in every area. Yeah. We are literally trying to become the one-stop shop <laughs> for all things from yes. relationships, dating, couples, singlehood, mother, house, home, femininity. Yeah, we're working on it. some more stuff, man. Y'all, listen, we working. That's why my wife, that's why y'all see my wife like, hey, yep, that's what y'all like. <laughs> listen, this woman right here, she's working around the clock uh, really to, to get things done, man. We're really seizing. Uh, this moment in time and you know really looking for a quantum leap in our life in some areas so in jesus name. so yeah jesus name straight up so uh last little comments i'm gonna look at here i think somebody else put something yes you said close friends game <laughs> <laughs> okay so you gave her that um what this in there hey listen uh sierra said i like long podcasts me me too as long as it's not three over three hours, I listen Sis. to them. I'll be listening to like lead attorney. This stuff be long. <laughs> I don't know how y'all. I'll be like, wow, y'all are legit for yeah, being here. I'll, I'll look, we yeah. really do. <laughs> Quinay said, "TK, we give you grace." Um, I I don't know how y'all do it because I feel like we just be kicking it well, with y'all and vibing with y'all. But when you, I like, it's certain people I could look at for hours. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could just sit there and. They be talking. I'm just sitting there like it's like Aww. I'm like it's like they were actually sitting here on our couch pillow talking with us. So no, that's the vibe. I love that, doing that. It's definitely the vibe. I, I just still like to be respectful. You know me. I'm like, all right, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah. God is doing so many great things for you both, and I'm excited to see what's to come. Hopefully, oh, pillow talking in person. <laughs> come on. Now I'll be starting a men's group. Close <laughs> friends. You gotta Step pray for on me him. On that, 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 that's gonna be some. Yeah, just be praying. Be praying on that. Yeah, um, a uh, a live podcast is absolutely. It's definitely done. Something that we gonna like do. that is something that has to get done. So yeah. yes, yeah. Kendra said, "Thank you for answering my question. This is such a good podcast. Thank you." Yes. Jay Holloway says, "I'm taking my hair down so y'all can keep going." <laughs> hey. <laughs> See, that's what because you be doing the same I do. thing I though. Do. I know. When you look at that, uh, yeah, yo, the my podcast, vlogs. Yeah, you, yeah, I watch vlogs. To the, or I mean, yeah, vlogs and movies and stuff like that. When I have a long thing to do, yeah. I so I do get it. I get it. I get it. That's actually why up. I moved more to leaving the lives up, and I might have to do something different for the for the Patreon community as we we're, we're going to restructure that maybe in a way um, because I was like, I, most of my inf the people that I actually look at, they got like a two hour or more. Mm. podcast to be yeah. honest with you uh and they might send out some clips but they got the the long ones on and i may not look at it all in one setting but i'll come back and i i finish it off typically um or i put it on 1.5 speed <laughs> i'm definitely on 1.75 for sure so hey man listen um we are so grateful that you guys tap in with us tonight all the different things that we talked about please check it out in the uh description box down there below i don't even know how we used to end no more because we don't do it the old way yeah i just want to say y'all thank y'all for supporting us in all ways yeah simply watching us is supporting subscribing is supporting liking make sure y'all do that is supporting what baby i just thought about it or maybe it was last time but we still got to tell them 
that new single that you got that's popping i see uh, I see. I'm, trying to, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why they doubted from beginning mm. Push to the side. That's all right. Yeah, I get, I get it. it. But nothing ain't dead. Y'all just missed a couple pieces. Yeah, you got the sauce. Let us sprinkle in the season. Uh -huh. I'm trying to pull up with the squad. Yeah, yeah you know we lie. Yeah. Drip on the honey, but the devil's still alive. Yeah. Eyes on the prize. Yeah. Hands to the sky. Every meat mat. He the best. He supply. I'm a friend of God and got a man of God too. We just play our part. Be the branch. Bear the fruit. True. Handpicked by the maker. Yeah, that's major and it's true. true. Holy girl's up and it's stuck. Here's hey, a proof. Hey, hey you on love. God can't wife me. <laughs> Cross on my neck, got me icy. Me and all my girls so hyphy, ah! so hyphy, so hyphy. Yeah, said we taking over. Just might be. Just might be. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's my new single with Wande, Portia, and Queen Lee. Y'all yeah, go stream it, that. That's it's supporting down in the us. description. So if you go to TK Lee Essentials playlist, that's down in the description box. You go right to that song and definitely stream that. That supports well. us as well. Yeah. Streaming my music supports as well. Watching all our YouTube videos, buying mm. our merch, super Appreciate chats. It, we everything across the board when y'all reshare our reels all of that we just we we deeply appreciate yeah, it yeah and we're working on ways to even just recognize those who's with us this is a ground floor right here mm. and i want to those people who've been with us from the beginning man thank you we we working on something man to yeah. just uh, appreciate y'all in, in a major you way pray for us show y'all some recognition on that as well yeah, yeah. Keep, that's it keep it in prayer but hey listen this is pillow talking you've been pillow talking with us now do us a favor make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe do all of those things uh, we are out of here. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Hey, thank you for making it to the end. Of this is an Iwebu production. Period. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Yes. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Iwebus. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. <laughs>